Do you guys remember last year when I made those videos recapping the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships? It was three days of non-stop puzzling and it was way more intense than it had any right to be. Well, this year I won't just be recapping them, I will also be competing. I am going to Spain, I'm going to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships, and I'm not going to be alone. So who's ready to meet the team? From Kentucky, she stunned the world by winning a competition, sitting on top of the table in a yoga squat. She can do a 500 piece puzzle in 31 minutes. It's Michaela Keener. From Connecticut, she was on the winning team at the National Jigsaw Puzzle Championships. With abs of steel, she can plank while puzzling. It's Evie Karen. And finally, from snowy Minnesota, her team won the Winter Carnival. Her team won Nationals. One of the fastest puzzlers I know, it's Sarah Schuler. And you know her from YouTube. She came out swinging and won second place at her first ever competition. It's, um, well, it's me. It, it's me. Together, we are the Misfits. So, I think we have a really strong team um, and very cute shirts designed by me. None of us have ever been to Worlds before. We're so excited. Um, if you want to watch and follow along, I'm going to have all the info about how to do that at the end of this video. In the meantime, since we're all from different parts of the country, we decided to all get together in Connecticut for a training weekend. Unfortunately, Sarah got COVID and had to stay home, but we still had most of our team there. So first up on Saturday was the Northeast Regional Jigsaw Puzzle Championships put on by speedpuzzling.com. I think we finished flipping at exactly the same time. Okay, this was a one day event with an individual, a pairs, and a team competition. So obviously for individual, we had me, Evie, and Michaela competing against each other. But the Jigsaw Junkies also decided to come to this event. So we had some good competition. Three, two, one, go. I'm sharing a table with Michaela, and once again, I was so much slower at getting my box and my bag open. That is truly my weakest link in puzzling. <laughs> so the puzzle was of this lighthouse design, which has a handful of bright colors, but 
I think it is on the higher difficulty side because you just have a lot of little sections scattered all over. This is definitely one where I had to keep referring to the box like constantly. And I just wanna give a quick shout out to the Ravensburger Custom Puzzle Service. A lot of competitions are using this these days because it ensures that you have a brand new puzzle that no one will have done before. So with this one, the border was easy to spot, so I started there. Um, I also grabbed all of the brightest like reds and yellows and oranges. I kept like side-eyeing Michaela to see if I was keeping pace with her, and it always felt like she was just a little bit ahead of me. You can see here towards the end how I still have this blue section at the top and the bottom, where she only has the one at the bottom to finish up. So Michaela won and I was genuinely so thrilled because she is on my team. So her victory is my victory. Two minutes later, second place went to Tiffany who was not on my radar, but I am so impressed. She was so incredibly fast. And then three minutes after that, I came in third. And yes, this was an incredibly um, quiet event. <laughs> I feel like whoever wins kind of sets the tone. And since Michaela didn't like cheer or celebrate, none of the rest of us did either. <laughs> And here are the final times. Note that all of us with an asterisk are not eligible for prizes or official rankings because we don't live in the Northeast. And can we just talk again about how fast Michaela was? This weekend was my first time meeting her in person and I was blown away. I feel so lucky that I'm on the same team as her. We're gonna start at three, two, one, go. I got it. You want to get the poster out? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, so sort out dogs versus stuff at the top. Okay. All right, Karen, we got it. <laughs> there are like three Karens here. This applies to all of you. I think this is the only place where Karens are celebrated. <laughs> so Evie and I are gonna be doing pairs together at Worlds. So we teamed up here. This was such good practice for us. So here is what the puzzle looked like. Um, we had a lot of good separation for a pairs puzzle. I grabbed the edge and the flowers while Evie was working on the colorful buoys up top. And we were such a good team. Evie is really good at puzzles with little sections of color that you have to hunt and pick for. So I was so happy for her to handle all of those buoys while I did the bottom half with larger sections of different textures. And we won! This was my first ever 
first place finish in a jigsaw puzzle competition. No more second place or third place. We won. We came in first. I'm, I'm so thrilled. I'm so happy. So here are the final times. Uh, you can see how Kat and Jeffrey were really only like 90 seconds behind us. So it really could have gone either way. But Evie and I, we were a machine. We just powered through it. It was, it was so good. Okay, so what's the plan? I'll do timer. You wanna do edge, Karen? Yeah, I'll do edge. I'll pull. You do that, you do plastic. plastic. I think up should be this way. The real regional champions, hopefully. We will start. I'm rooting for you guys. Oh. One, go. Oh, oh, this is fun. Oh, this will be really fast. Sorry, not do Okay, it. let's not do edge. Let's just start by color. So we debated if we wanted to bring on a temporary fourth person, but in the end, we decided to just go with the three of us and see what happened. Okay, so this puzzle is a rainbow, which is my personal favorite kind of puzzle. It was a little more difficult than it initially looked because it had so many different textures, but it was really just a matter of sorting by color and then solving each of these stripes sort of as its own mini puzzle. I really felt like we all worked really well together. We were going really fast. However, we were only three people, so we were at a disadvantage. So the fact that we were only seven minutes and then two minutes behind, even though we were down an entire person, I think that's pretty good. All right, so throughout all of that commentary, I hope you guys know that I'm not trying to put down any other puzzlers. It's just that since this is our first time going to Worlds, it's really helpful to compare ourselves to teams that have been there before. So the Jigsaw Junkies got third place last year. So the fact that we're basically like on their same level, it just gives me so much more confidence going into Worlds. Maybe, maybe we'll have a real shot at placing. <laughs> I don't even want to say it. I don't want to jinx it. All right. So all of that happened on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we spent the entire day just doing practice puzzles together as a team. You know, a lot of teams live near each other. They can practice all the time. We all live in different states, so we really just had to cram our practice sessions all into one single day. Also, you might notice, um, since all of the puzzles used at Worlds are Ravensburgers, 
everybody who goes to Worlds just starts hoarding Ravensburgers to practice with. And Evie was no exception. She had the most incredible collection. We had so many to choose from. Okay, here is puzzle number one, our warm-up puzzle. It is called The Wedding Shop. Should be easy enough. We did it and we beat our time of under an hour. That was such a good warm up. What did we do well? I think we did well sorting and kind mm -hmm. of feeding each other pieces. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to do any sorting. You guys did the sorting, which worked well for me. I felt like I was going so much slower because my parts were a little bit harder than all of this, but I mean. But you crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzle number two of the day. It's called Lover's Path. Let's see how this goes. Ready? All right, we took a break partway through this puzzle for lunch and to do a few things. We have just a little bit of white left and then, oh my God, this is too much. This is too much. Um, okay, so we just hit two hours. Guys, are you done? Yes. yes. Let's do something fun now. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs> Okay, so I can admit when I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong about this puzzle. Um, so we decided we're not going to finish this. I think we've gotten as much team practice as we're going to get out of this type of puzzle. Like, there, we only have today together, so there's no sense in just powering through and, like, driving ourselves crazy over it. So I think this has given us practice for if we get a really hard and repetitive puzzle, the next thing we're gonna practice is an easy puzzle so that we can practice not getting in each other's way. All right, puzzle number three. This is our reset puzzle. This will be nice and fast. Let's do this. <laughs> under 20 minutes. All right, we are back. All right, our good friend Jess brought us a secret puzzle. So this is just like a competition. We have no idea what it looks like. So we can't think about strategy beforehand. Ready, set, go. Let's say we get a landscape. What do you do? Okay. We give someone else the sky that's not me. Yeah, I like sky. I would take this blue at the top. This yeah. is almost one where I would say don't have one person do the edges. 
-hmm. like give the sky edges to the sky person mm -hmm. and then like someone else can do the other three sides all right next we have this illustration this one is just a lot of the same colors over and over again i mean you could grab all of the text that's one where i would not have a plan going into it i'd much rather do a landscape photography than that puzzle i think i would oh, enjoy fine. this one more i think this one would go faster <laughs> I honestly i think the flowers didn't look that bad to me the tools look yeah. more threatening to me than the oh. flowers oh i think but the tools look fine that's because your dad has an anvil museum <laughs> <laughs> idea for this one just as an experiment mm. not saying i've been unhappy with what we've been doing so far but maybe i won't do the sky and i'll do the middle and Ooh. someone else can grab let's see this guy okay thank you and i will not <laughs> i will just see how it goes it's it starting on the sky personally. Really? Because I was about to say, even though I thought it would be fun to jump into the middle where like everything's going on, I quickly got very overwhelmed and I would prefer to just stick with sky. Yeah, so experiment done. We've realized that I love sky and that's how we'll move forward. Go Good team. Job. Go team. Yay. Okay, so we had a whole debate about whether that last landscape puzzle or this one would be faster if we had to choose between them in the team semifinals. So we already did that one. Now let's see how this one goes. All right, it is 8.40 p.m., but it's time for our last puzzle of the day. All right, guys, ready? Yeah. Ready? Yes, let's get this done. Here it is. Well, another missing piece. I thought that was really good though. It felt like we never stopped putting in pieces. Our time was 21.55. Pretty good. So you guys saw the shot. Uh, this is the aftermath of the shot. Now we have to hope we're not missing more than that one missing piece. <laughs> oh my God, that was seven puzzles that we did in one single practice day. And even though we did get to talk to Sarah partway through, a little secret is that we actually had another practice day with Sarah a couple weeks ago. So for Yvonne's birthday, she invited all of her puzzle friends up to Big Bear for a weekend so we could just have a full weekend of nothing but puzzling. <laughs> and EB, Sarah, and I were all there. So again, we had three out of our four team members. So we decided to do a practice puzzle for Worlds and we did this colorful round puzzle.
And then Evie and I also did a Paris puzzle together. The time we're trying to beat is 40, is that right? 41 minutes? 41 minutes. Okay, let's see how we do. So, what do you guys think? Are we ready for Worlds? It really was too bad that Sarah couldn't be with us that weekend. Um, we all really missed her, but she's doing a lot better now and, you know, better for her to miss the practice weekend than the actual competition. I am so excited for the four of us to get to Spain and all get to puzzle all together for the very first time. Okay, and then just to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> no, not that elephant. Um, you all might be wondering why I'm not teaming up with my sister Katie again. She is going, but she's doing pairs with her boyfriend and then they teamed up with uh, a father and daughter pair for the team's competition. So their team is just a little less competitive than our team. <laughs> um, how mad are you at me for not choosing you as my Paris partner? Uh, it's fine. There's less pressure this way. <laughs> I don't have to worry about actually trying to win. <laughs> I can just go and have fun. I'm gonna be having fun too. Well. <laughs> so, if you want to watch the live streams, I put together a graphic showing the entire schedule. Note that this year they added a quarterfinal round for individual, so it's going to be four days long. I also converted it to Eastern, Central, Mountain, and Pacific time, so feel free to screenshot those for reference. I don't know yet which of the qualifying rounds I'm going to be assigned to, but I will update the graphic and post it on Instagram once I know. And yes, the live streams will have English commentary this year. Um, you can also go ahead and watch the two videos that I made last year. They are very comprehensive. You can learn how it all works and who our biggest competition is going to be. So I'm going to make another video next week about all of the very specific and weird things that I'm doing here on my own to prepare for Worlds. So if you have any questions about the event that you want me to answer, feel free to leave them right down in the comments. Um, your code word for the comments will be Spain. And I'm gonna go pick out a puzzle and I'm gonna go keep practicing. <laughs>